What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. <clears throat> I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers. And welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified, notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, caps, moves, size. And everybody in between, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take, only take the messages that resonate. Please rest. I apologize. I have a toothache in the very, very back. Um, near my, I think it's one of my wisdom teeth. I never got them removed when I was younger. So I think I think it's one of those. But I apologize um, for my speech. But Yes, yeah, so um, this is Oracle card reading for sign of Aries. This is to resonate if you have Aries in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading for sign of Aries. I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node signs for additional message or messages if they may apply for you. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 5 The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Okay, so I received several channel channelings for August of 2022 for your sign. The first channel message I received was um, Ground Zero. Is what I heard, Ground Zero. So um, I know what that roughly means, but I looked the definition up for perdictionary.com so everybody can be on the same page. Ground zero is a starting point or base for some activity. So the starting point or base, um, primary location, where it all started, where it all began, ground zero. Um, when I think of ground zero, I think of like the 9-11 ground zero site in New York City. But, you know, you plug it in however it resonates and applies in your own life, Aries, okay? All right, you have staff you will be taken care of in difficult times, ink pot, problems to be resolved, carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. Um, I also, um, the other channel messages I received was um, a false contract in a workplace situation is about to become very, 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 uh, very significant for one in a workplace situation for some or um, an illegal business. And the other one um, I heard was... Um, um some uh someone that has recently changed a uh, banking institution and for some a credit union uh closed down an account at a banking institution and a credit union is about to become very significant in a uh, Aries life. Now, I got that one in many signs. I got that one in Aquarius's, Leo's, um Aquarius's and Leo's and y'all's and Tauruses about the banking institution. That's very, very, very significant for a lot of people, apparently. I, I guess a lot of people are closing down accounts at banking institutions or um, credit unions. I know I ch I closed my account at my long start long standing credit union today, actually, for me personally. I can't speak on anybody else, but I did today. Um, I've banked with this credit union since I was 18 years old, and I'm 39 years old. And I closed my account down today because I felt I wanted to go with the bank. And that was a credit union. So I can only speak on myself. I can't speak on anybody else. So that was for me. Um, of course, I never had any issues with that credit union. Um, always kept, you know, very good uh, standing there. And had a very, very, very high credit limit on my credit card. Very high. And all that. But it just felt it was better for me to switch to a bank. Of course, I'm not going to tell y'all what bank it was, but um, but that was just for me. But I think another one of you guys has just recently uh, closed down an account at a credit credit union for some, for some a banking institution. For some, it could be somebody you're connected to, but somehow this is very significant in one of you guys' life. How that resonates and applies in your life, Aries. And some kind of false contract, either in a workplace situation or in a legal business um, situation. That is about to become very significant in Aries' life as well. So you plug it in however that resonates and applies Aries, okay? I hope everybody's doing well. I do, I do, I do who? We have tree. Staff.
life, you will be taken care of in difficult times, ink pot problems to be resolved, and carriage a journey, either physical or mental. A very high vibrational Aries Femme terror reader is about to reach out to an FBI agent soon. About to deliver very important information on a very high vibrational Leo Femme reader. When you go with your bad self, Aries Femme terror reader, um, you're a high vibrational Aries Femme terror reader. You treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, and integrity. I heard you're about to reach out to an FBI agent soon. and um, so you are about to take the initiative, ma'am. Um, you're high vibrational, so you treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. I heard you're about to reach out to um, FBI agent soon and um, deliver very important information on a very high vibrational Leo Femme tarot card reader. So tarot card reader, tarot card reader, high vibrational, high vibrational. Um, you go with your bad self, ma'am. I love y'all. I love the high vibrational tarot card readers because I am one and I love you guys so much. Um, whoever you are, um, I think you think highly of this high, uh, Leo Vim. Le I can't speak. I'm sorry. I've got a toothache. Oh, wait, it hurts. I apologize. Um, I think you think highly of this um, Leo Vim tarot card reader, ma'am. Um, and she probably thinks very highly of you um, if she knows who you are. Um, only you know your story and situation, not anybody else. You have to plug the situation and how it resonates but you definitely think highly of her i'll tell you that because uh, i heard you're going to deliver very important information that's uh to the fbi agent or agents or agency that's really going to help her so um i think i think somebody tried to attack her or set her up or something of that nature and i think you know this high vibrational aries femme terrier Another Aries is getting a huge wake-up call. Huge. Another Aries is getting a huge wake-up call. Huge. So you plug it in how it resonates. We have Golden Egg and Cobra. For some, you can be dealing with another fire sign. Um, high vibrational Aries Fem. You're dealing with high vibrational Leo Fem. I'll tell you that. But um, for some, I feel you're dealing with another fire sign. Aries Leo Sag or somebody in the Cobra energy. How that resonates. Because um, this is fire sign energy in the animal spirit. If you are, they could have Aries Leo Sag in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, Aries, and you have Golden Egg. Ooh. An Aries Femme, high vibrational tarot card reader, is about to get her work protected. She is a honeypot, and she knows this. When you go with your bad self, high vibrational Aries Femme, tarot card reader, I'm pulling you in very strong, ma'am. I heard you're about to get your work protected. I heard you know you're a honeypot, um, and so you're about to get protected. So I think that might be a trademark, or it might be a copyright. Or something of that nature. How that resonates and applies Aries. Um, you know you're a honeypot. You are the golden egg. You were the honeypot and, um, in this situation. And um, you're about to get your work protected. And I don't blame you. Because I got my work protected last year. Um, my Secret 7 content. Well, all my content. All my content on my tarot card readings. There is protected. It's copyrighted. But it was because of the Secret 7 stuff. People were trying to steal my Secret 7 stuff last year. Um, so... I went and got a copyright through the U.S. Copyright Office, and that's just the truth. So, um, who now you might use a, a outside provider like I use Trademark Engine to um, Trademark Engine to um, give me pointers and information and directions on how to actually do it, and then did it through the um, U.S. Copyright Office. But so you might do something like that, or you might not. But um, if you get a copyright. I just heard you're going to get your work protected. So it could be a copyright. It could be a trademark. What have you, what have you. Uh, but you were the golden egg and you were the honey honey pot in this situation. You plug it in how it resonates and applies. And an Aries fam. 
that thought she was working with Golden Egg, she's about to get a huge wake-up call. Workplace situation, bitch slap reality. Oh, Lord. And at Aries Fem, this is for you. You're in a workplace situation, so I think out in the 3D universe. I heard you think you thought you were working with golden eggs. So you thought you were working with other golden eggs. So people that could bring in the money, bring in the wealth, bring in the prosperity, um, are knowledgeable, etc., etc., etc. Golden egg energy. You thought you were working with golden eggs, but you're basically about to get a bitch slap reality. So you're basically about to realize that these people are actually rotten eggs. Um, I feel for some, you could be manager, bosses, supervisors, or CEOs, possibly. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, Aries. Um, but you are about to realize this about the people you work with. I think drama is about to ensue. Or for some, it could be lawsuits. Or it could be um, fines or fees or something crazy about to go on. And you're about to realize your co-workers or subordinates or something. Um are not as about uh they're not as valuable in the workforce as you seem to think they were um how that resonates there is about to be huge chaos in this workplace situation huge there's about to be huge chaos in this workplace situation huge for some you are the manager boss supervisor and ceo for some you're the manager boss supervisor and ceo so you plug it in how it resonates aries cobra A very high vibrational Aries Femme reader. You have a very sneaky energy around you. For some, it's your baby daddy. For some, it is your sister. For some, it is your brother. For some, it's your mother. Beware. I'm pulling in high vibrational Aries Femme energy. Very strong uh, reader energy. Your high vibrational Aries Fem reader. Um, I heard uh, for some, it is, and several of you, apparently. You have very sneaky cobra like energy around you. So, this is your cobra like energy. For some, it's your lover. I'm, I'm sorry, not your lover. Your baby daddy. So, your baby daddy of either child or children. I think of yours and theirs. For some, it's your mother. For some, it's your brother. For some, it's your sister. So, heavy family energy. I feel they could be biological. For some, they could be foster. You plug it in how it resonates, and for some, it's your baby daddy. But they're either live with you, I feel, or they are just, they are connected to your energetic space or want to be connected. They're very sneaky. Um, I think you're a golden egg, and for some, I, I would watch my bank accounts. I would watch my money. I would watch my belongings because I feel they're going to try to steal from you, and I didn't hear that they were going to. But there's a reason they're being sneaky, and there's a reason they're hang wanting to be latched onto your energy if they're not already latched on. Be needs to hear that. They're coming in as the cobra energy. So for some, they could be fire sign, uh, baby daddy, fire sign, mother, fire sign, brother, fire sign, sister, Aries. You plug it in how it resonates, but they got the cobra fangs. <laughs> um, I feel they want to steal the golden egg, your money. Or your property or your investments or something you plug it in how it resonates you're a high vibrational aries reader if that resonates for you aries fem reader one has already stolen one is going to try too soon well, i told you i felt that one is already stolen and one is going to try too soon so you plug it in how it resonates, Aries. Baby daddy, mother, brother, sister. You plug it in how it resonates. High vibrational Aries fem reader, if that resonates for you. Tree, and you have the family energy. Family tree energy.
investigation into a coven heavy. For some, you're going to give information on a toxic family. For some, you are in the toxic family that created this coven. Oh, God. I heard investigation into a coven heavy. For some, you're going to give information on this um, toxic family in this coven. For some, you are in the toxic family of this coven. They help create this coven, it sounds like. So, to uh, family tree energy. For some, you are about to give information. I feel to the FBI, because one of you high vibrational Aries fans, you're about to call the you're about to call the FBI, ma'am. You are. So I'm just saying, just saying, whoever you are. But um, but you're about to give somebody knows some information on a toxic family that basically created a coven. Um, is what I'm feeling. You're about to reveal it. I think you're about to reveal names of this to these toxic family members. Whoever these are. Um, it's not your family in this situation. But the other situation, you are in the toxic family, Aries, that created this COVID. Whoever you are. You have to plug yourself into the situation or situations how it resonates. Um, and I feel this toxic family that created this COVID is either under investigation or they're about to be. And I think you, Aries, high vibrational Aries over here, that's about to reveal the information on the toxic family members of the COVID. Um, you're high vibrational, and you're going to help them get investigated, is what I feel. But you plug it in how it resonates. I don't blame you. And I feel your golden egg energy, whoever you are, about to do this. You're highly intuitive, and you know it's smart to reveal the information on these toxic family members' names that help create a damn coven in the universe. I would be doing the same exact freaking thing, ma'am, if I was you. Absolutely. And that's just the truth. So kudos to you, ma'am. Um, or sir, or sir, you can be ma'am or sir. Golden egg energy. You have to stand up for what's right. And whoever you are, I feel you're about to do this. Ink pot, problems to be resolved. A child is going to be outside playing, and they, through many series of chain events, they might get strangled with a hose. Somebody needs to put their hose up. It's a young child. Oh, my God. Whoa. So, you plug it in. How it resonates. Dear Lord, Aries. Uh, okay. So, this could either be your child, or it hasn't happened yet, it sounds like. It's either your child or somebody you're connected to's child. I heard somebody needs to put a hose up. So, if you have a, a young child at your house, and you have a hose just laying out, and a hose holder on the side of your home, or connected to the side of your home, or what have you, what have you, somebody needs to go put the hose up if you have a young child. Or you have a neighbor, or a family member, or a friend, and you see the hose just hanging out all out all crazy, and it can be put up in a hose holder or wrapped around somewhere. I heard a child will be playing with a hose soon and they might get strangled by it. I definitely think that's a problem to be resolved. Um, so you take it how it resonates. Somebody needs to be go outside and check a hose. I'm just serious because the child hasn't been strangled by the hose yet. And it sounds like this can be resolved and prevented if somebody goes out there and puts a damn hose up i heard a young child so i think this child might be two one two three four or five aries i mean a young child you know like for example if my 16 or 15 year old was out there playing with the freaking hose they wouldn't be out there strangling themselves i feel this is a young kid one two three four or five that, I feel that's a spiritual warning. So somebody needs to either help somebody put a hose up if they have young kids or put your hose up if you're around young kids or what have you, what have you. You plug it in how it resonates, Aries. A pregnant Capricorn is about to become very significant in Aries' life.
This person is related to a water sign masculine. Their lover. This is about to start giving you severe mental health issues. Severe. Okay, I heard a pregnant Capricorn is about to become very significant in uh, Aries, um, Aries life. So your life, Aries. Um, a pregnant Capricorn. So she's either already pregnant or she's about to get pregnant. Um, I feel this is an adult energy. I didn't hear a child. I think it's an adult energy, but you plug it in how it resonates. But anyways, um, I heard it's going to start giving you severe mental health issues. It's his lover. So it's a, um, I hope it's not a child. I hope it's not a child. I didn't hear it was. Um, uh, but some reason this pregnant Capricorn, either already pregnant or about to be pregnant, is about to start giving you severe mental health issues, Aries. So whoever this Capricorn energy is in your life and why it's going to give you mental health issues that there's a water sign masculine that has impregnated her. He could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and his Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Moon, Haver, Jupiter, Charts. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. For one, it is your child. For one, it is a uh, someone you work with. Oh, whoa, yikes. For one, it is your child, I heard. For one, it is your child. So the, oh my God, that's so sick. So, oh my God, oh. I hope it's not a child child. I hope it's an adult child, but you plug it. I didn't hear if it was a minor. You plug it in how it resonates. For some, it could be a minor Capricorn. I didn't hear it was. But if it's not, it's your child, minor or not. Ugh. You plug it in how it resonates, but... For one, it is your child, Aries. They're going to be pregnant by the water sign masculine. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, masculine. And for one, it is um, somebody in a workplace. Uh, in your workplace, Aries. Um, either way, it's going to start giving you severe mental health issues. Whoever this water sign masculine is, he could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and a sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them, and have a Jupiter charts. But... Whether it's your child, whether the child is a minor or not, or whether it's this uh, this person, this pregnant Capricorn is in your workplace, it is a water sign masculine that has already impregnated them or is about to impregnate them. And the water sign masculine could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them, and have Jupiter charts, problems to be resolved. Uh, pregnancy of this Capricorn, Femme. Whether she's a minor or not, whether she's your child or not, whether she works in your workplace or not. And that could be the family tree as well there, Aries. Oh, my Lord, you plug it in, how it resonates. Yikes. Staff, you'll be taken care of in difficult times. She's young. She's young is what I heard. And he likes them young, and you know this. She's young, and he likes them young, and you know this. Oh, my God, Aries. Yikes. So this Capricorn feminine, whether she's a minor or not, she's young. She's young. And I heard she he likes them young. This Cancer Pisces Scorpio masculine likes them young. You know he likes them young. Some it's your own kid. Some it's not. You plug it in how it resonates. Oh, my God. Staff, you'll be taken care of in difficult times. A skilled nursing facility and assisted living facility is about to become very significant in an Aries life. About to make the leap. You are about to go there. Oh my God, I heard a skilled nursing facility and assisted living facility is about to become very significant in an Aries life. I heard for some, you're about to go there. So I think you're about to, um, I think you're about to free willingly put yourself there is what I think. Um. That's exactly what I think. Um, I heard you're about to go there, so I think you know, recognize the need for extra medical attention, 
extra medical care. I think you have pre-existing condition or conditions and um, you recognize the need to put yourself there. Um, whoever you are, Aries, uh, I think you're older or um, you're, th I think you're older. I do. Um, whoever you are, um, I do. Um, you'll be taken care of in difficult times. This could be the assisted living or the skilled nursing facility energy. You plug it in how it resonates, Aries. Um, I don't think there's any like cognitive difficulties here. I think this is you recognizing the need for medical. I don't think this is mental health here. That's what I'm saying. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Oops. A betrayal by a Scorpio and a Libra is about to make an Aries stand up for themselves and for one and for another person in a huge way. Okay, a betrayal by a Scorpio and a Libra um, for of you, Aries, is about to make um, you stand up for yourself in a huge way for one of you guys and for one make you stand up for another person in a huge way. Um, for some, I feel it could be like civil rights violations or human rights violations or civil liberty violations or something like that. Or it could be discrimination or sexual harassment or something of that nature. If it's like workplace, like discrimination or sexual harassment or like EEOC energy, possibly for some. But you plug it in how it resonates, Aries, okay? Um, but it's a betrayal by a Scorpio for some and a Libra for some. They It could be a mask or a Scorpio or masculine or femme Libra. They could have Scorpio or Libra in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, Jupiter charts. If that resonates, that applies for you, Aries. Um, but they're about to betray you. So once they betray you, and it hasn't happened yet, whoever this is for, once they betray you, you're going to stand up some for yourself, some for another person. Um, you'll be taken care of, I think, by standing up for yourself, for some, for some, for another person. I think this is like, Power of your voice, personal power, standing up for what's right. Um, I, you do have a little bit of workplace energy in here, so I feel it could be, for some, it could be sexual harassment issues. For some, it could be um, discrimination issues. Um, for some, yeah, that's like civil rights violations, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates, you know, discriminating on age or race or ethnicity or um, gender or something of that nature, uh, religion or something of that nature. Okay. Carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. Someone wants to know how much you know. Through many series of chain of events, they're about to prod at you. It would not be smart. For some, you're highly intuitive. You will ward this person off. For some, you will feed into it. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Okay, so um, I heard um, someone wants to know how much you know, basically. They're going to try to figure out how much you know, basically. Um, they're going to try to poke, poke and prod at you. So poking, poking the bear, poking the bear, trying to figure out how much you know. Um, for some, I heard you're highly intuitive. You will ward them off. So you're going to block their energy, protect your energy, and you're going to ward them off. For some, you are going to feed into it. So, of course, that's the choice you make. Only you know how you're going to react to this, not anybody else, okay? Um, so I think that's going to be a mental journey there. Journey either physically or mentally. I think that's a, a mental mental journey there. What choice are you going to make? Are you going to feed into it emotionally? Um, or are you not? And this is the truth. Whoever you are. Uh, are you going to protect yourself, protect your energy? Um, highly intuitive ones? Or are you not?
Um, of course, you know, use your best intuition, logic, reasoning, and intuition with this, these first center people. And that's just the truth. Um, that is the truth, okay? Please be the be best leader of your own discernment there, okay? A particular Aries is about to go on vacation soon. Some to Egypt, 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 I heard, and some to the Maldives. Maldives. Whoa, the Maldives. I've always wanted to go there. Some to and Egypt. So one of you guys is about to go to Egypt and one to the Maldives. Hey, me, put you put me in your suitcase. Just saying, just saying. That's beautiful. Whoever you are. Those are big ass vacations. Well, I guess depending on where you live in the world. That's beautiful. So physical journey. You plug it in how it resonates there, Aries. An MK Ultra experiment that was done on a family in the past. MK Ultra light type experiment. Claim the claim the mother was a drug addict and an alcoholic. There are many series of chain events. She's about to get her justice. Know this. For one, you're gonna help her get her justice. Oh my god. So you plug it in how it resonates. That's beautiful, Aries. So an MK Ultra light type experiment that was done on a mother in the past, a family, but a, particularly a mother, um, the mother of the family. I'm thinking a single mother. Uh, I heard uh, they claimed she was a drug addict and alcoholic. Um, I heard through many series of chain events, she's about, about to get her justice. And for one of you guys, you're about to help her get her justice. So um, they claim she was an alcoholic and a drug, drug addict. She has never been either of those things. And so many people know it. She has never been either of those things, and so many people know it. So she's never been either an alcoholic or drug drug addict, but so many people know it. Well, it's probably because they were uh, doing an illegal human spear experiment on her ass, probably with an avo with a voyeur camera, um, and probably doing an illegal case study on her ass with the illegal voyeur camera. Um, these people are huge hypocrites. They are alcoholics and they are drug addicts. They're about to be exposed in a huge way. These people are huge hypocrites. I heard they are alcoholics and they are drug addicts and they're about to be exposed in a huge way. I think for one of you guys, you're about to help expose them. I think you know they're huge alcoholics, they're huge drug addicts. But yet they were claiming this poor mother that was over there probably just trying to raise her kids was an alcoholic and a drug addict. But really, and they were, they were spying on her, probably through an illegal voyeur camera in the past, but while they were doing that and probably had others spying on her through the illegal voyeur camera, they were out shooting up, snorting up, coking it up, mething it up, pairing it up, whatever, whatever they were doing, and drinking it up. That's really sad. It's really sad. So, um, but I heard one of you guys is about to help her get her justice uh, soon. I think one of you, I think one of you guys about to help her get her justice soon is the one about to call the FBI. But only you know your specific story, not any situation, not anybody else. And I think one, you're a high vibrational tarot reader, Aries Femme, and I'm just being for real. Because I'm pulling a high vibrational Aries Femme tarot reader in here very strong. But only you know your situation, story, not anybody else. But I heard you're basically about to help her get her justice. And um, that's beautiful because we should all... Um, perform advocacy for others and we should all be um, we should be advocates for ourselves and for others and whoever you are that's about to help her get her justice I heard uh, basically a crap ton of people know she's not an alcoholic they know she's not a drug addict but yet these people behind the scenes were drugging it up and alcoholing it up and what have you what have you so huge ass hypocrites basically I think you know this and um, golden egg and you're about to reveal it and you're about to help her get her justice. For one, you are a judge. For one, you are, oh my God, for one, you're a judge. For one, you're a judge, sir, ma'am. So you can be a masculine or feminine Aries judge. You can have Aries in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Haven, Jupiter charts. For one, you're a high vibrational tarot card reader, femme. One, you're a judge. So you plug it in how it resonates. And one, you're an RN. Manager. And one, you're an RN manager. And one, you're an RN manager. And one, you're a realtor. And one, you're a realtor. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, Aries.
And one you you work at a bar. Bartender. And one you work at a bar and you're a bartender. So you plug it in how it resonates, Aries. Okay. All right. Well, we're done. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful night and namaste.